Hello everyone and welcome back to Alan Wake. <sighs> to be honest, the only reason I'm playing this right now is because I'm uploading and Netflix doesn't like when you upload and watch Netflix at the same time, so I'm doing this instead because I figure why not record some more. <sighs> I'm also reinstalling my netbook. Windows 7 has decided that it wanted to install 400 updates at the same time. Let's just say it's taking a while. <sighs> Sometimes I really wonder. Anyway, let's continue game, shall we? Where were we? Load game. One. Steam cloud. Steam cloud. I guess that's where... Steam cloud? I'm home. Ah, yes. 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 Very good. How okay. That's fine. Worst that's fine. I got I've it. Seen. You should put some coffee on. That They'll is pretty bad up. weather. Look at it outside the window there. Put the coffee... But I don't need to put the coffee on because Ellen has... Oh, come on. Hey, handsome. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. Oh, my God. Look at the glamour shots in the then. back. I'll oh, it's it so off. funny. Dude, your wife's your photographer? Oh, my God. What? Ellen, you idiot. Turn around and pick up that coffee thermos. We don't need no stinking coffee maker. We got coffee in the thermos. Everybody knows coffee's better in the thermos. Shut up. Weather indeed. Where are we that it's snowing? Is this Canada? Can't be. Well, I, 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 I don't know, actually. Coffee maker. Coffee's Is it gonna on. instantly make coffee? Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. It's not doing anything. Where's the coffee? Who cares? What are we doing in our apartment? Hey, new TV. Do you want? I'm guessing it's supposed to go here. Can we can we help out with that? Like can we lift up the TV and put it in No. Decided not to actually. What are okay. we doing in this I just apartment? Those cover mockups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No My kidding. desk. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. All right. This looks like a Random QR code on the uh, wall there. That's kind of awesome. I wonder what happens if you scan it with your smartphone. Anybody want to try? Put it on like 1080p and see if you can do it because I don't have my phone on me right now. Alan Wake. Oh, we can see what books we've written. Okay, we have The Fall of Casey, The Things That I Want, Alex Casey, uh... What I Can't Forget, and Return to Sender, which sounds like a really good, like, novel title. Like, especially like a horror novel, is like, Return to Sender, yeah. Manuscript page. Done. F5. Oh, alright. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Bum bum bum. No, I have no idea. Okay, and number two? This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge. It had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Uh, very poignant. I'm guessing this is, like, supposed to be Alex Casey narrating it. Fun fact, A Late Goodbye is a Poets of the Fall song. If you haven't downloaded or bought any of their stuff yet, do so immediately. I, I, your let's play person commands you to. Because they're awesome. Anyway. These look really good. Do they really? Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. 
Oh dear. Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. And there goes Alice freaking out again. Which door? This one? Nice condom open. Really if I knew where the fuse box was, I would check it, I promise. Why is there a washing machine in their bathroom? Alan! I really need those lights on! Shut up, Alice! Goddamn bitch doesn't freaking shut up. F. Ah, fuse box. Excellent. I thought it kind of looked like Alan, a painting please. from far away, but alright. Check the fuse box. It's in the hallway. Honey, hallways. it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. It's okay, Alice. I, I will save you're you. Okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Ah, no more flashbacks. Looks like we're all feel, done. Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Uh, Mr. Yes. Wick? How are you feeling? Not good is my impression. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. And apparently we have interrupted a very important fishing trip. I'm sorry trip. I had to cut your morning fishing shore for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me, but she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Really? Uh, I don't a give a shit. Man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't no. really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. Why, it's just lovely outside. Can't run. All right. Looks like we're walking slowly to the door then. Ooh, old school monitor. Lovely. I used to have like six of those sitting in my basement. Just in case one of them ever died. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, looks like, uh, Alice is not the only person missing because check it out. Identifying features, knack for winning contests. I'm not gonna tell you what the name is, but, uh, yeah. On a camping trip overdue, haven't been in contact. If you have seen them or know their whereabouts, please call 555 9932. Thank you! Fantastic. Lots of people go missing. Anything in here? Can't get in there. Well, all right. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. 
Thank you. That was Small Cindy town Weaver. Police I guess woman. you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, well, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Lots of them. I'm assuming that most small towns do not have colorful histories. I can't get in there. Aha! Thought so. Always coffee at a sheriff's station. And what else do we have? Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Probably because he's wait. dead. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the parade float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. Well, they're not going to be happy if they ever find his body. Luckily, I don't think they will. Ooh, do -do -do -do. what's this? Manuscript page. Ah, oh, really? Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. <laughs> and then got eaten by a monster. Or... Abducted by a crazy old lady. The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. I know, shut up. I do not care of this sheriff. Nor your sheriff's station. Be gone with you! Oh, missing kitty! Okay, let's go talk to her anyway. Whatever. Sheriff person. Then, Mr. Wake, your person. phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Why, thank you! Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. And the darkness ate on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Ah, product placement! Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. I need some fresh air. Can I go out? In the back, maybe? Of course, Mr. Wake. I understand. You can get there through the cells. Deputy Grant can show you the way. I'm Is this sorry. a uh, page? All of this, it's just a lot to take in. Take your time, Mr. Wake. I understand. Can I ask you what the call was about, Mr. Wake? It's personal. Well, we are looking for your wife, and I'm going to need your cooperation if I'm going to help you. I need a moment, after I get some fresh air. Okay, you can find me here. We'll talk when you feel up to it. Right. Can I pick up this page? This is the thing. Out of the- Get out of the way, you stupid woman. Frickin- Damn it, it's not a page. Okay. Never mind. Sorry. 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 Okay. It's got, like, auto run on or something now. Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I thought he'd quit drinking for good. Oh, no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. He started shouting like that the moment he woke up. Uh, you can get to the back cells. Lot through that door hey, and down the corridor, hey, Mr. Wake. Okie dokie. Hey, Hi, Walter. It's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I, I need it to be bright in here. 
I will attempt, sir. Switch lights. Bing. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. I only looked like him. You want to know who it really was? I'll tell you who it really was. It was a goddamn space alien! I know it sounds like something a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. But you're very, very drunk now, sir. All right. If you're quite finished, wait a minute. These cells are open. Aha! I knew it. I knew it. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Okay. Oh, now I gotta check the other cell. Is it open? Can I open it? No, I cannot. Nor can I sprint. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Which, which way is left? Which left? Your left? My left? I don't understand. Coffee thermos. Delicious. I know for sure I have already missed one coffee thermos. So, looks like I will not be getting that achievement. Well, oh well. It's been another long night and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their Deer Fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day's almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Oh, right. Um, F. Ah, I see. All right. But first, I've got to look around. You never know. Can't go in there. All right. Can I sprint yet? No. Anything in the ambulance? Behind the ambulance? In the grass? Come on. Gotta be something. Can I, oh, I can jump. Go, Ellen! Leap to victory. Uh, can I get through this fence? No, I cannot. Still can't sprint. Yes, I know. Hold in defense. Uh, I suppose in here. Uh, we're going to kick this down? Yaw! Wow, Alan. Um, kudos, my friend. That was quite powerful, actually. Manuscript. What do we have? Wake at Lover's Peak. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Uh, I think that's probably going to happen later, but for now... Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Oh, I see. Well, let's just head around here and... Yoinked. 
Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Do you have to get her to let you go? There's a hole in the fence right here you could squeeze through. If somebody were a bit more fit, maybe? Exit the sheriff's station. Um, come on. There we are. I guess, do I have to go out through the front or something? Looks like this could be an exit. If I could get out through there. Okay, let's try through here then. Back in. And now I'm being forced to walk. That's awesome. Oh dear. A what the hell? Light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. That is weird shit. This guy's asleep in now. That's fine. So what do we do? Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. 